absolute value. Equation with absolute value. Uh -huh. Now, okay, on our left hand side, oh, absolute value x is 5. You know what? That's right. You have to treat this one like two questions. Okay, that's it. So that means, wait a minute, inside of this one is a positive or negative, see? Depends on. If this one is a positive or zero, that's it. Then x is just a five. Okay? What about, so best way for this, so you have to think about this x, in other words, inside of this whole thing, twice. Once, just like this, if, okay, inside of that one, which is x is greater or equal to zero, then, see, if then condition, okay, then x is five. What about if? So x is less than zero, which is a negative number. Then you have to put negative on your x. Then it's going to be five, right? See, once positive x, once negative x, simply. Okay, so, oh, finally, x is negative 5. Okay, that's why answer can be positive 5 or negative 5. Oh, let's try this one. Okay, always you have absolute value, then inside of that one, so you have some variables. Okay, then you have to treat this one twice. Okay, so x minus 2 is greater or equal to 0, then... Okay, I'm not going to write then, but actually you should have that one, okay? So if so-and-so then, okay, so we have equation just like this. X minus 2 is 7. Just open it. But if, okay, one more time. So X minus 2 is less than 0. So then you got to put negative sign front of whole thing right there. Then there's going to be 7. Oh, so now, okay, let's solve both of them. You move this one to our right-hand side. It's going to be plus 2. That's why x is what? Simply 9. That's it. What about this one? Oh, so you can move negative sign to my right-hand side, okay? Then, oh, that's going to be negative 7, right? That means, oh, x minus 2 is negative 7. Now, you scratch, then move this one to our right-hand side. It's going to be plus 2, which is x is negative 5. Just like that. See? Okay, let's try this. No, oh, yes. Okay, variable inside of this absolute value sign, right? That means we treat this one like, okay, twice. If x minus 4 is great or equal to 0, okay, always, always the same. So if x minus 4 is less than 0, then, on the top, always, just open it, okay? So, x minus 4 is less than 7. Then, you move this one to right-hand side, then it's going to be x is less than 11. That's the one. Now, the other one, okay. What if this one is negative? Then, you got to put negative on whole thing, right? Okay, just like this one, negative. Then, negative 4 is less than Okay, uh, then 7. That's right, 7. So now, you just move this one to right-hand side. So you remember? That means negative times negative. See? I just multiply on negative both sides. Then I have to change what? The direction of the sign. That's it. So that means, hey, x minus 4. Okay, then you just put this one, then negative 7. Oh, be careful. This is really important right there. Okay, I'm going to highlight this one. Okay, very, very important. Now, I'm going to move minus 4 to my right-hand side. It's going to be a positive, right? That means and so x is greater than negative. See? Okay, you can scratch this one, then plus 4 right here. That's why this one is a negative 3. Okay, now you have x value is going to be bigger than negative 3 less than 11. You know what? Oh, then we can put this answer together, see? So, because this one is a bigger than smaller one, which is negative 3. Okay, less than the big one, which is 11. That's what I'm talking about.
okay, absolute value sign again. That means, okay, again, if, okay, 2x plus 3 is greater or equal to 0, then, okay, just open it. That's right. So 2x plus 3 is greater than 5. Now you scratch this one, so minus 3, which is 2, right? Okay, then, oh, both sides divided by 2, right? So x is greater or equal to, okay, this one was uh, 2, then divided by 2 is going to be 1 anyway. Okay, so now that's the one. Now, what if, okay, 2x plus 3, 2x plus 3 is less than 0? Then that's the negative number. That's why you have to put negative sign on it, right? That means, okay, let's do it. Okay, negative, then 2x plus 3 is greater than 5. That's it. Now, oh, that's right. So negative sign on it. So you've got to multiply everything with negative. So this is going to be 2x plus 3. No more negative there, but negative sign right here. Okay. Then you change direction. Oh, remember that. Don't forget. Now you scratch minus 3, which is a negative 8. Now you divide by 2 means, okay, so positive number. You don't have to worry about the direction, right? So x is less than or equal to. So this one was negative 8 divided by 2, see, which is negative 4. Now think about this one. Okay, x value is smaller than, okay, it's a less than, smaller answer. Okay, x is greater than, so wait a minute. So, okay, can you make sense? Okay, so x should be bigger than, greater than 1. x should be less than negative 4. That means you cannot put them together, see? This answer cannot be like this one, okay, together. So that means separately you have to answer, right? So x is greater or equal to 1, okay, or, okay, so x is less than negative 4. See, that's it. You cannot put them together. So separate answer, two answers right there. Now, actually, you need a lot of practice on this one, okay? So, hey, I highly recommend you again, again, again. So visit to www schoolplusplus.com or ajar.com right there. Then, hey, so it's free? Please, okay, need more practice, come over, enjoy.